YouTubers, today I'm at the top of this hill. Um, well, I was at the top of this hill. It's one of my favourite places. And it's in fact a hill that overlooks the little market town of Olney, or Oney as it's pronounced locally, in Buckinghamshire. Uh, down below me, which you can't quite see, is the meandering river of the Great Ouse. Great Ouse, great name, isn't it? Anyway, um, this little market town it's quite a religious place. It's famous for several things. It's famous for the um, well, famous pancake race. Uh, every Shrove Tuesday every year there's a strange sort of little town thing that goes on where women run around with frying pans and uh, try and race to the church. It's a tradition going back into the sort of 1400s or something like that. However, also it's famous for the Reverend John Newton. You may not know who he is, but he was in fact uh, originally a seafaring man and he later became a preacher. He in fact served on slave ships. He was a slave trader and later, as I say, became this famous priest. Also he wrote hymns, he wrote Amazing Grace, uh, which I'm sure everybody knows, and he was an advocate together with William Wilberforce in the abolition of slavery. But not just him, he had a friend, a very famous friend, um, who was known as William Cowper, although he liked to be known as William Cooper. So locally, if you say William Cowper, you're in real trouble, you have to say Cooper. But it's, his name's pronounced, it's spelt Cowper, so what the heck. Now, William Cowper, famous uh, poet, uh, also famous for translating Homer's Iliad, and also famous for um, writing the hymns with John Newton. And his famous saying is, uh, God moves in a mysterious way. As I say, at the time, huge sort of celebrity. And because of this, we have quite a lot of pilgrims. I call them pilgrims, but especially Americans as well. Coming to this area just to see the museum, which is there, and of course the church where John Newton used to do his bit. He was an evangelical speaker. And... So that gets me to the point of this story. We, I do meet quite a lot of um, religious people, although some don't like to be called religious. I realise that, but I'll call them religious people. And as I've met so many, and not just that, I have now been on YouTube for several years, and I have had many a discussion with the theists and believers in, in other sorts of nonsense, and I have come to a conclusion, and I feel that I really have the experience to be able to come to this conclusion. I think that theists are bloody stupid. I know, I know that there are many videos out there saying you should not call theists stupid. Um, idiots, if you like. Obviously, there are many idiots out there, stupid people, that aren't stupid in certain ways. For instance, there may be many theists out there who can play an instrument better than me, any musical instrument, and they must also be able to do maths better than me, or geography better than me, any other subject, history perhaps. So in that way they're not stupid. But as a belief system, I'm sorry, I cannot any longer hold back. I have to call them stupid. I know I'm not supposed to. I know I've heard all these videos saying don't call them stupid. You won't get anywhere. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't get anywhere by calling people stupid. But because of my experience, because of the things I've heard, they're bloody idiots. Now, let me put something into perspective. I cannot prove that they're farcical, supernatural bunkum isn't true. Well, no, of course I can't. No, well, it's difficult, isn't it, when you haven't really got a starting point. Now, in reality, reality, you have two 
plus 2 equals 4. This can be proven. This can be proven easily. You just take two plums, say, two more plums, put them together and count them. And you've got four plums. Fantastic. Proved it. But the problem is, with supernatural bunkum, is they don't ask for that. They don't ask for that sort of proof. The sort of proof they want is you can't prove something. So, a negative if you like. You can't prove a negative, is what they say. It's a bit like doing the 2 plus 2 exam, that little say exam, a 2 plus 2 equation, but doing it in a different way. It's a bit like taking a random number, say a hundred, and any number, but just say a hundred, taking two from it and coming up with, well, 98. Does that equal four? No. So what we've done is we've proved that the number 98 or 100 minus two doesn't equal four. So we'll try another number, 5.7. 5.7 minus two, you see where I'm going. So what they're doing and asking for is for you to do the sums, do this equation in the worst way possible, without sense, without logic, without reason. And I, for one, have got to the point where I'm going to have to call people who, not just religious people, theists as it were, into God, people who believe in nonsense like astrology, homeopathy, um, oh, Bigfoot, you know, the Loch Ness Monster. People who believe in these things with no evidence whatsoever, you're called stupid. And I've got to that point where I will. It's a weird old video, as always, and a random thought. Hope you like, like Oni. Lovely little spot. And um, peace for now. And I'm sorry to those people who I've called idiots, but I just feel it's time to call you that. Slap against the face, as it were, to wake you up. Uh, it won't work. I know it won't work. But uh, there you go. Peace.